Tonight, an unbelievable column in the New York Times on Sunday entitled, Why Not Utopia? The column demands that if robots become widespread in the marketplace, they should be available to everyone, not just rich people. The column was written by Mark Bittman, who usually writes about food, recipes, turnips, that kind of stuff, for the newspaper. Mr. Bittman's column would be forgettable if not for the fact that it contains the key ingredient for the far-left agenda in the USA. Now, you may be tired of hearing about the far left. I might overuse it here. But these people are fanatical. Listen to Mr. Bittman quote. Better is a guaranteed basic income, which is not universally despised because it would simplify matters and help keep the economy moving. How all of this would be finance is, of course, a question. We could make the income tax look like it did 60 years ago when the top rate was 91 percent. Or you could institute a 100 percent tax on wealth over a billion dollars. Mr. Bittman calling for the federal government to guarantee an income for every American, whether that American works or not. That's what the far left wants. With us here to react in New York City, Mary and Catherine Hamm and Alan Combs. So, Mary and Catherine, you can. Can you believe this, first of all? I mean, at least oh, Bittman, I mean, I guess he was eating a sandwich and writing a column at the same time. But, I, you know, very few of these people will go that far, but he yes, did. Yes, here's the thing it's very fashionable to talk about income inequality and we can discuss that in ways to combat it right uh, but can we talk about the glaring historical blind spot you need to say Marxist socialist utopia why not well there are hundreds of millions of reasons why not they're lying in mostly mass graves across the the entire world and are still being put there in service to this ideology which requires a giant centralized force to make decisions for what everybody's income and is. force is uh, is the word Combs, yes. because you have to basically then say to your population you're gonna hand over you look at me like I'm crazy American you're gonna <laughs> hand over what we tell you to hand over. Uh, that's look. the and only way to finance 320 million people Getting a guaranteed income from the federal government is to force the people who do have access to hand them over. This is not, you keep using the phrase far left. Most people do not stand for this. Most people in this country who are on the left, whether they be moderate left, Democrats, or even extreme left, I don't think are for the government giving everybody money or I, taking I didn't say that. That's really but not I, what's but, going but this on. guy unmasked it. And yeah. the power in the Democratic Party now lies with the far left. And I'll tell you why. Because of the money. That's where the money is. Soros money. Okay? Big machine websites. Uh, organizations that intimidate and, and, you know, hurt people. The moderate Democrats don't have any of that. But the far left I've got to disagree, Bill. I think the Democratic Party has moved to the right. We've got a very moderate party, and the candidates were extremely moderate. A lot of blue dog Democrats. Obama is a moderate? Oh, absolutely. He's governing as a moderate, uh, definitely as a moderate president. Nope. All right. Well, I know you don't agree with that. No, well, but see, yeah. agreement is one thing. Answering this question is quite something else. Who's a more liberal president, Barack Obama, in well, history? Well, we haven't had very many liberal presidents. Okay. So so the answer to that is but, he is but, the most liberal But on the political president. scale worldwide, okay, he's, he's not, not Karl much, Marx, but well, he's the most liberal but you, guy but you we you ever talk had. About totalitarian, you were referring earlier to totalitarian yes, regime. Yes, yeah. that's that, sort of what But this is not totalitarianism. You're, you know, where but it would this, have to be if this nuts vision were to be implemented. Uh, nobody in their now, right you mind agree wants with 100% Combs? taxes of right, people making over a billion dollars. Do you agree with Combs that this is just a fringe play? That the far left is a fringe group? I don't think the far left is a fringe group. I think there's a lot of power and there are a lot of folks who are just general liberals who are really dedicated to the idea of re redistributionism. I think you're right that the 100% taxation over a billion dollars is That's probably crazy. not something that the mainstream is in favor right. of. But this guy is speaking a bit more frankly about something that you think Maybe a lot yeah, of these folks are That's the thing that it. caught my eye, that they usually don't go this far. Yeah, and here's the thing, They disguise too. it. He also, in this column, celebrates, like, local solutions and people coming together and doing creative things. Great. That's not compatible with uh, a giant redistribution. Can I point out that minimum income is something that was put forth by Milton Friedman, I, was put forth by Charles he, Murray, he, and even Martin Luther King Jr., who's, pro, who's claimed by the right, problem. right? If I mean, you, if you not, work for a living, yeah. there is a minimum income. Right. All right. But if you sit around taking heroin and drinking gin, you shouldn't yeah, be. But I'm citing that. conservatives well, who wanted a minimum right. income, whether people worked or not. Yeah, these I, are, think I, don't know, I, I think you can discuss these problems and strategies for right. combating them. This guy goes a little bit further, and it looks he's, a yeah. he is fringe. It's, that's okay. a fringe idea. Okay. Yeah, let's hope but so. you know what? His quiche is good, I hear. He makes a nice, mean, I believe that. Mean quiche. And I will pay a fair price okay. for it on the free market. Yeah, but real men don't eat it. Maybe I'd let a lot of sharing in the